Hi, my name is Brian Mace. I'm a product manager with Lincoln Electric's PowerWave product team. Today I'm standing in front of the PowerWave R450 machine and we're going to be connecting this machine to our cloud-based checkpoint platform. The same procedure that we're going to work through today applies to all machines with the PowerWave branding. Let's take a closer look. Here on the laptop we're running PowerWave Manager. This is an application that can be downloaded from the Lincoln Electric website. Here, we're going to double click on the machine that's connected to our laptop. On the left hand side, we're going to click on the Checkpoint tab. And we're going to make sure the box that says Enable Checkpoint over the Internet is selected. Next, we need to select where we're going to send checkpoint data from either the rear Ethernet port, front Ethernet port, or if your machine has Wi-Fi capability, you can set it out over Wi-Fi. Next, we need to give our power source a name that can be viewed in the Checkpoint platform. In this case, we've given it a text name and we've included the machine serial number. This is best practice for machine traceability. Next, if your organization requires a DNS server or proxy server to reach the internet, you can do that here. We need to make sure we click the button that says apply settings to save everything. Finally, we're going to save the checkpoint installation key in a temporary location to then upload to the checkpoint website later on. Now we're going to disconnect the machine from our laptop and connect it into the corporate network with internet access. Let's switch over to our internet browser and navigate to checkpoint.lincolnelectric.com to finish the configuration. At checkpoint.lincolnelectric.com I will either create an account or I will log in. In this case I will log in and I will select the right company from the drop down up top. Then I will select the configure tab and equipment to add a power source. I will select the add button and I will select power source. In this case I'm going to add a power source that's connected to robot number one. You can also add a power source to the storeroom and configure its actual location at a later time. I'm going to give this equipment a name, in which case I'm going to use the serial number again. And I will upload the registration file that we saved from PowerWave Manager earlier. successfully uploaded and we will click save. And now we have added our power source. And that's how you connect a power wave up to the Checkpoint cloud platform. If you're looking for more information on Checkpoint or the power wave, please visit lincolnelectric.com.